Earth has given us one of the most amazing wonders we can ask for, nature. Its beauty is magnificent, yet humans have created products and materials that take away from all that beauty. One of those include plastic bags. Plastic bags might be helpful for many human beings, but is it helpful for the environment? Plastic bags are cheaper to make, which is why so many grocery stores have them, instead of reusable bags. However, evidence has shown that plastic bags have a negative effect on the environment. They hurt animals, enter our waterways, oceans and take thousands of years to break down. Fortunately, people have been trying to fix this problem. We can finally see the lights. Over 178 cities have plastic bag bins. In our small community from Hoboken, my school, All Saints Episcopal Day School, has been working on this problem for the past nine years. Our school found out that the question is not whether to use paper or plastic, but to shop with a reusable canvas or cloth bag, or no bag at all. It all started in 2010 during the month of the young adolescents in October. Each year, the students of all scenes choose something about the community to improve and present their ideas to the Hoboken City Council. That year, students chose to research plastic bags and how they affect our world. Since 2010, we've had three grades work on this topic for their project, and finally, their hard work paid off. A book in Banned Plastic Bags started in January 2019. Students had done a project um, on the importance of banning the plastic bag and presented it, but then nothing happened. And so when I met with our head of school, Jill Singleton, and we started brainstorming ideas we wanted to introduce to the children and then have them brainstorm what really mattered to them, uh, we thought, wait, why hasn't anything been done? And when we talked to the children about it, about this, and the, the students were really kind of astounded. They already knew that plastic bags couldn't be good, <laughs> that there was no, that, not, they had never heard anything that supported how it was helping the environment. It was really only helping people's ease and comfort of getting around. So the students really, um, once we started talking about past initiatives with them, they really said, wait a second, we need to take care of this. We're gonna do a better job. We're gonna come forward and, and see if we can get city council to listen to us. So that that's really how it all began, is we had um, a school that was committed students in the past who were committed to helping the environment and then that current fourth grade class in 2014 said no come on we can do this let's make this our year um, and then two years later we had another fourth grade class who revisited this idea and I think just having them I, I'm always astounded by children that they realize they really realize the power of repeated action and continuing to research that it's um, not as simple as just saying, hey, I want this, but having to earn and prove to um, people in power. I think, I think having the right research, having committed um, student activists who took the time to research the pros and the cons, they really tried to find out if there was any benefit to the plastic bag. Um, but out, out, and, you know, outweighing all of that was the fact that there's so little evidence of anything helpful and how hurtful um, we knew plastic is for the environment. It's a hard argument not to win. And I think it's not just happening here. We know of so many other cities in America and around the world who are realizing the importance of banning the plastic bag. And that was um, the type of data they brought to city council. I did in that topic of um, banning the plastic bag because after doing research that year, we found that it was like really bad for the environment, which we already knew somewhat, but then we found how bad it was. Um, and we really wanted to raise awareness about that, so we spent the whole year researching and creating like a whole speech to present to the um, city council. Up there and just like spending a couple more dollars to have a reusable bag that will last you for like a year or two years. I think like easier way is not always the better way. Hoboken Banned Plastic Bags started in January 2019. This idea finally came to life, and if people keep believing and persisting for change, 
we might be able to make an amazing and clean environment for everyone.